And shouldn't you be studying for finals right now? I'm braiding this bracelet. Oh, okay. Wait, no, hold on. Your your finals should take priority over your bracelet. Oh, Papa, you know how you got diagnosed with ADHD and then passed down to me? Well, basically, we have a thing called executive dysfunction, so we can't make the distinction between different priorities. So braiding that bracelet and studying for finals are the same equal priority in my brain. Wow, which explains a lot of things in my life. Well, you still need to study for final. No, I know. You want to be a body double and just chill in here while I study? I'm behind on work. Wait a second. We can body double each other. You come downstairs and we can work together. Student becomes the teacher. Don't get cocky. Different phases of hyperfocus. The destroy, build, destroy phase. They take apart everything around them and attempt to modify and rebuild it. They never finish rebuilding it. The researcher phase sits quietly diving into a useless topic that no one cares about. The clean everything phase, a rare phase that happens once a month which usually includes moving your furniture around. The shopaholic phase, prime shipping is their friend and the only thing that can stop them is self-control, which they don't have. Is that ADHD paralysis, an anxiety attack, or is he just zoned out? I was just zoned out. Oh, thank God, because last time it was an anxiety attack and you scared the shit out of me. Do they all look the same? Literally identical, the only difference is you're sweating when you have an anxiety attack. That's crazy. It's terrifying. Now, what's worse is when your ADHD paralysis turns into an anxiety attack. You got a wacky brain. Do be wacky. You can be good at school and have ADHD. Mm -hmm. I thought you had, like, no memory. Good long-term, bad short-term. So you have to store everything you learn and everything you memorize in your long-term memory? Active recall and spaced repetition. That's dead. In the simplest terms, flashcards. How do you get yourself to do the flashcards? Make them look cool as possible. Then you practice all those different flashcards every other day? Pretty much it, yeah. You remember and get yourself to practice the flashcards. Alarms, and I put them in the middle of my workspace every single day so I remember. If you just shove them off and don't want to do them. Convince myself that someone else is depending on me. Right, guys, there is an important thing I need to do. Nothing's important. Make a point. Everything is important. No, you're right. I don't know what's important. Ooh, a shiny thing. It is fun. No, 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 we have to do important things. Go to bed. Just everything you need to do, do it. What were we talking- I'm so bored. I'm literally so bored. Wow, we're quite the team, huh? That's all you got. That's it? That- okay. ADHD. I know, surprising that people with ADHD do is stim. Fidget, you need constant stimulation. One of my stims is picking at the skin around my fingernail. This can sometimes lead to bleeding, and sometimes it can be in public. Yesterday, I was in Best Buy, started picking at the corner of my thumb, looked down, and my hand is full of blood. And I unfortunately was wearing a white shirt. If you have ADHD, you should not own a white shirt. Ironic. So now what was I gonna wipe the blood on? Had nothing. So, like a vampire, I sucked my thumb and the blood got an Edward Cullen. Thankfully, Best Buy did not require masks. I was wearing one. So I took my mask off, MacGyvered it like a bandaid, and then I look up as an employee walking towards me. The employee goes, need any assistance? And I go, no, I'm just looking around. So not only am I just perusing the store, not buying anything, but I'm also bleeding everywhere. The moral of the story is I'm not going to that Best Buy again. Are you so creative? What's your process? Do you know the concept of thinking outside of the box? Yeah. Right, so now take that box, throw it into a paper shredder, replace it with a beehive, and then the surrounding bees is where my process is. Need a different example. Hey, well, you know how multiple people have like a brainstorming session? Yeah. Right, so my brain is in a constant brainstorming session by itself, and instead of a storm, it's a hurricane. Hi, do you have ADHD and struggle texting people back because your life just consists of going from one hyperfixation to another and you completely shut out the world? Do you want to fix this problem? Me too. Seriously. So if you have any tips, put them in the comments below, because I am struggling a lot with that. I, it, why is it so hard to text people back? Did you get done today? I'm exhausted. Oh, really? What'd you do? Well, I was actually thinking so hard about doing things all day that I actually experienced burnout because I convinced myself that I did the things in my brain, but I actually did nothing. What? I know, but we could flip it and say that my brain is just really powerful. Yeah, yeah, we'll say that. Homework was half multiplication, half division. You did all multiplication. I did what? No, seriously, can you say that again? Your homework, where are you going? Sorry, what'd you say I spaced out? Okay, I just need you to redo your homework. Yes, you uh, just gave it to me. I don't I have no idea where it went. Here's another copy. Thank you. Wait, I've already done this. Wait, can I borrow a pencil? I just gave you a new pencil like five minutes. Oh yeah, I already lost that. Wait, what's that? That's the sunlight. Oh. Wait, what were we talking about? We were talking about, what are you doing now? I had to stand up. Wait, can you sit down? It's fine. I can do that. Can you sit still? No, not really. I went to the doctor and he said that I had this weird thing with my neurons. It was like ADHD. So, I'm sorry, ADHD. I have ADHD. That explains why I just gave you that pencil. I want to see how it works. Okay, can you just get started on your home? Yes, wait, what did I do wrong again? Can you not enter? Yes, so, I just did it again. I'm sorry. It's okay. Get off your phone. I have to avoid all Capricorns today. Oh, are you a Leo? Let me see. Back hurts again? Nope.
You haven't taken your ADHD meds in a couple days, have you? No, but what does that have to do with anything? Your dopamine deficiency doesn't just affect your brain, dude. It also affects your body. How? These people with dopamine deficiencies, it doesn't even have to be ADHD, tend to have chronic pain and stiff muscles. Wow, that explains a lot of my life. All right, okay, hand me my meds and the salam pop. POV, you are buying a product you have researched for the past two weeks, but you act like you don't know anything because you don't want to seem no like a dick to the employee. Two gigabytes of RAM. Oh, wow. and overall, I don't even know what that is. Crisp experience wow. with this one rather what? I was sorry, that was my bad. I meant to say, how was your day? Hold on, one more time. How was your day? Pretty good, I got some food. Excuse me? I got some food? Oh, I thought you said I had an attitude. No. But how was your day? It was pretty good. I zoned out, what'd you say? Uh, my day was good. Wanna get some dinner? A cup of coffee. But yeah, sure. Where, you? Where should we go? Um... And how was your day? Good, what's on your mind? I can't get anything past you. Bad day at work. Yes, how do you do that? My brain can only see what's behind the surface level and responds to that rather than the surface level. Which some people consider it socially awkward, but I consider it a superpower. Yeah, dude, you only pick up on the small sh I know, your fly's down, by the way. Oh, thanks. I just ran into your girlfriend at Target. Who? Oh, sh Right, yeah. Oh my. Yeah. What's up? Why do you look so sad? My girlfriend hasn't texted me back. I think we're breaking up. I mean, I heard you had a big argument with your girlfriend. Well, it started as a little disagreement, and then I forgot what we were disagreeing about in the middle, and then it became an argument. Such a chill guy. How do you have ADHD? Okay. Aren't you supposed to be, like, hyperactive? No, my environment forced me to internalize all my hyperactivity and mask all my symptoms to make society more comfortable. Just stop masking. I appreciate that, but the mask is ingrained in my brain. It's second nature. It's gonna be a lot harder to rip off than you'd think. And actually, sometimes I lose sight of who I actually am. Are you not a sociopath? Nope, just ADHD. Stop doing that and sit still. No, actually, you need to stop telling me to stop fidgeting and stimming because if I establish a mask and hide my symptoms at such a young age, then when I'm a teenager, I'm gonna think I'm a psychopath because there's two people living inside of me. Oh, you need to calm down. I think you're the one that needs to calm down. <laughs> You learned in school that I have no idea, but did you know that lowercase numbers used to exist? Or what about school? Yeah, forks used to be considered sacrilegious. It's fascinating, it was because you're not using your hand. No, what'd you learn at school? I don't know, math or something, but did you know it rains diamonds on Saturn? Why do you know so much about these random topics? If something piques my interest and it's not for a grade, I'll learn just about anything. Have you ever been interested in math or anything? Learned advanced calculus on YouTube yesterday. She you won't learn it at school. Pretty much, yeah. Why are you in my room sitting like that doing your homework? The brain constantly needs new stimuli to stay engaged. That's why I also bought this new pencil. So you're actually motivated? Yeah, but I also have to be held accountable. That's why I invited my friend Jimothy over. Howdy. She didn't even notice. Howdy. Wait, but don't you usually wait till the last minute to do your homework? Yes, but I worked it out with my teachers and now I have multiple deadlines for portions of the homework. So this portion is due tomorrow. Good for you, that's awesome. Howdy. Jimothy, how'd you get over there? Why are you cleaning the kitchen so fast? I want to see how much of the kitchen I can clean before the microwave beeps. 20 more seconds, move. Can't remember why I walked into your room. Wait, you have ADHD. This must happen way more often. Way more often. Try counting your steps as you walk into a new room. It'll help you remember why you're walking into the room. Because it'll give you something little to focus on, but not big enough to distract you. Why do you keep putting your keys in the laundry room? I somehow lose my keys every morning. And the first place that I go looking for them is the laundry room. So now I just have a designated storage spot for my keys in the laundry room. You look so angry. I'm bored. I'm not supposed to get bored. Just do one of the thousand hobbies that you have. Wouldn't that be nice? No, my executive dysfunction is currently holding me in a no mercy headlock. I think you're just being lazy. Have I taught you nothing? Right, sorry. Your executive dysfunction from your ADHD is not the same as being lazy because you can't control your executive dysfunction and it intrudes on your daily life. You are learning, my young Padawan. What happened to the usual pile of dirty dishes in your room? I just started using the eh, might as well principle. Does that mean? Well, I'm gonna go down to the kitchen at some point, so before I go, I always tell myself, eh, might as well take the dishes with me. You fold your laundry too? Yeah, I started lying to myself to get my chores done. So like with the laundry, I told myself that I only had to fold one t-shirt, which was a simple enough task for my brain to handle. And then after that, my brain was like, eh, all or nothing. And I ended up folding the rest of the laundry. Well, it certainly works. I mean, after that point, I was, I was like, dude, what's wrong? I have something to add to the conversation before you switch topics. Yeah, dude, what's up? I was gonna add that, um... You forgot what you were gonna say. Yep, nope, it's gone. Sorry. So, well, back to what I... Wait, I remember. What's up? Nope, f it's gone again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you said you had a busy day today. Yeah, I'm in ADHD paralysis. What's that? My brain physically won't let me do anything. What caused it? Sometimes nothing causes it, but today it's because I have a package that's coming at 8 p.m. You can't do anything before that package comes. Yeah, I like to call it my waiting mode. So you're not just being lazy? No, my brain's currently going like a thousand miles per hour telling me I should be doing things, but I can't. You mocking the way I talk. What do you mean? You're mimicking the way I talk. I didn't, I didn't even realize. Are you neurodivergent? Hey, I've got ADHD. I mean, yes, I have ADHD. Oh, so you're just mirroring me. What do you mean mirroring? Well, people with neurodivergencies tend to mirror the people they talk to in attempts to mask their symptoms. Well, that explains a lot. When they have no one to mirror, they tend to just switch through accents like a catalog. You, sir, have officially blown my mind.
Can you please start it off? Hey, what's up? You have listened to that one song and that one song only on repeat for a month. Yeah, it's a good song. There is no song that's good enough to listen to for a month straight. One's giving me a lot of dopamine right now. But what if a different song gives you the same amount? Ow, just let me change it. No. I saw that, what was that? What do you mean, what was that? Did you not hear that? You're in a completely silent room, dude. Did you not hear the electricity that came from my laptop charger? No, dude, I just have average hearing. I'm not Superman. Are you serious? You can hear electricity? Yeah, it's loud as fuck. How do you not hear it? Did you clean the entire house? Yeah, I also mowed the lawn and planted a new garden. Holy sh**. How and why? I have an essay due at midnight that I haven't started. You did all of this instead of doing your essay. Yeah, I thrive under pressure. So if you're not constantly procrastinating on something that you should be doing, you'd end up just doing nothing all day? Yeah, pretty much all my motivation comes from external guilt and pressure. I feel like that's not healthy. Definitely not, but that's just how my brain works. Hey man, how was work? I'm gonna get fired. Why, what happened? When I was talking to my manager, they had a slight change in the tone of their voice. How does that make you think that they're gonna fire you? Do you not hear me? They changed the tone of their voice. Man, are you okay? My girlfriend doesn't love me anymore. What? Says she's been typing for the past 20 minutes. So what's the conversation leading up to that? Said I love you, have a great day at work. Well, wouldn't you think it's more possible that she's just working? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Why are you so relatable? Really don't know. Hey, why do you still think about that conversation that you had five years ago and wonder if you were awkward or not? Hey, that was too personal. I don't know how i do it. Hey, you probably feel like you're faking it. You're not, don't worry. Truth hurts. No, it hurts me the worst. Hey, you don't remember much of your childhood, do you? But you remember the trauma? And you tend to bring it up in conversation quite a lot. I do bring it up in conversation a lot. How do you know? This jokes. At least you're not alone. All right, love you. You're not listening to anything, are you? What's up? What song are you listening to? Oh, I paused it like three hours ago. I haven't remembered to press play again. You're not gonna press play, are you? Nah, man, I was enjoying the song I made up in my head anyway. Stanley Steamers is really a lemur. Stanley Steamers is really a lemur. Stanley Scream in the middle of this class or else your entire family's gonna die. Did I say that out loud? No, there's no way I said that out loud. Wait, what if my teacher just read my mind and could hear me? And I said, wait, stop saying That finger won't crack. Break it. Break your finger right now. Break it. Break it. Come on, break your own finger. When I was at the lake five years ago and I was hanging my feet off of the dock, I totally could have lost my flip-flops. What if I lost my flip-flop? What would I have worn for the rest of the day? Need to find a new name for ADHD. Why? Turns out they don't actually have a deficit in attention. They just can't regulate it. That explains the hyperfocus. Seems to be more of a regulation issue. Like with their sleep, it's either too much or too little. Everything they do is kind of just all or nothing. And they're only either understimulated or overstimulated. And they lack dopamine. So what about dopamine, attention, variability, executive dysfunction? Dave? Dave. Love it. Write it down. Your school emailed us saying that you keep on zoning out during class. What does that mean? Sorry, I had to reset the Wi-Fi. What's up? Sorry, I accidentally meditated. Sorry, I'm still using the free trial. What's up? Sorry, say that again, my neurons missed their cue. Sorry, I just have to close out all the tabs. Sorry, I was playing freeze tag with a ghost. What's up? I forgot to skip the cutscene. What'd you say? Sorry, there was a software update. Hold on, can you rewind the movie? Sorry, my brain was trying to remember what I wanted to Google two years ago. I wonder where my piggy bank is. Dave? Dave. Y'all wanted it, so here it is. Dave merch. It's not ADHD, it's Dave. Okay, that's it, love you, bye. Since you have ADHD, do you want me to teach the lessons a little bit slower for oh, you? No, no. In fact, make it like three times faster. But wouldn't going slower help you comprehend it better? Oh, no. I got bees in my head that need constant stimulation. So if you slow it down, I'm just going to zone out even more. So you process information better the faster it comes at you. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I'll even put YouTube videos at 1.5 speed just to keep me engaged. Okay, perfect. Now, for exams, we were thinking of putting you in a silent room alone. Oh, no, no, no. Just let me stand up during a test and I'll be good know what to do and how to do it, but I can't get myself to do it. You want to fix that? Please. Well, let's look at our ADHD brains. We have knowledge, performance. Knowledge, we're really good at knowledge. We know what we have to do, how to do it. But performance, doing the thing, that's where we lack. Executive functionings. So we have to use our advantage to improve our weaknesses. So how do I do that? Well, since we lack each of the executive functions that are controlled by the performance out of the brain, we have to attack each one. So how do I attack each executive function? For the sake of time, we're going to have to make a series. You're saying I got to wait for a part two on TikTok? What's beeping and what's up with all the sticky notes? I have to externalize things like time and memory. What do you mean? Well, since my executive function is trash, I have to turn everything mental into physical. Huh? So like I have all these clocks and alarms because I have no internal clock. Oh, so when you say out of sight, out of mind, you don't just mean your car key. Exactly. So like with memory, I have to put the key things I'm supposed to be doing onto something physical and keep it in my field of view. Or else the task doesn't exist in my brain. So that explains the sticky notes. Yep, got to keep it in my sight so it stays in my mind. Could you apply that to motivation? Oh yeah, I just need physical accountability, more consequences, and more rewards. That's why body doubling works. Because even if the accountability is artificial, it still gets me motivated. How do you not get burnt out and overwhelmed? Yeah, so since the performance out of my brain depletes really fast, I have to refuel the executive function. How do you refuel? There's many ways, but you can take three minute breaks every 10 minutes. Exercise refuels it. Rewards and self-encouragement. So what do ADHD meds do? Makes the fuel tank bigger. Oh. And how I don't get overwhelmed is I split a big task into smaller tasks that are more manageable.
Don't do it. What? There's not enough noise in this room. What does that have to do with anything? What are you, a psychopath or something trying to kill me? I'm just eating ice cream. With no music on, nothing? No. But doesn't the sound of chewing not disgust you? No. Not even the sound of your own chewing disgust you? No, dude, I don't have misophonia. Misophonia? If you have such a strong dislike towards sounds like that, then you have misophonia. Oh, there's a name for that? Hmm. So you're telling me that this thing that I thought could only cause this thing mm -hmm. ended up causing all of these things too? Yep. Damn. Yeah. Honestly, I'm impressed. I severely underestimated its impact. Why are you so productive if you have ADHD? Since I can't produce my own internal motivation, I've started focusing on momentum. How do you do that? Well, a productivity tip that's given to a lot of neurotypical people is start your day and conquer the most difficult task you have. But that requires motivation. So usually whenever I tried that, I would just get way too overwhelmed and do nothing all day. So instead, I've had to focus on momentum by conquering the easy and small tasks, build momentum, and conquer the bigger ones. It's pretty smart the difference between ADD and ADHD? ADD doesn't exist anymore. I have ADD. You have ADHD now. I'm not hyper. That's because ADHD can present itself as hyperactive, inattentive, or combined. Then I'm the inattentive type. There's no such thing as types either. My cousin's diagnosis, it says inattentive. Because your cousin was presenting more inattentive during the diagnosis on that day. So confused. There's ADHD and then there's inattentive, combined, and there's hyperactive. A person with ADHD will switch through these presentations depending on the year, on the moment, depending on the hour. That makes sense? Why? We're getting better at science and it makes it way less confusing or apparently not another jelly time peanut butter jelly time peanut butter jelly time peanut butter jelly time what are you doing peanut butter jelly time. sorry i'm vocal stimming what in the f is that it's like how i fidget like this but with my voice peanut butter jelly time peanut butter jelly time peanut butter jelly time why are you only saying peanut butter jelly time because that specific phrase is giving the most stimulation peanut butter jelly time. It's so weird peanut butter jelly time is, well, it seems your boy has an abnormal defect of moral control. It only affects boys. That was a really f sentence. Since we're making that big book full of mind things, do you want to add that one weird impulsive thing? Eh, it's too much work. What do you want to call it? Hyperkinetic impulse disorder. We need a new name. Yeah, I completely agree. Some of them just aren't hyperactive. Maybe internally hyper? You know what, never mind. Just call it ADD with hyperactivity or without. It could be internally. You know what? Yeah, screw it. That's too much work. Just write two names. This, it's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. All right, so we'll just call it ADHD and we'll have an impulsive hyperactive type, an inattentive type, and the combined type. We just need to switch type to presentation. Switch it to presentation. I don't give a fuck. TikToker's calling it Dave. That? That's fucking awesome. So there's two possible options, now you just have to make a choice. Okay, cool. Let me just overthink every possible future outcome while my body goes into paralysis. Oh, come on, shouldn't this be easy? I thought you were impulsive. Yes, I have trouble waiting my turn. I interrupt during conversation. I bought a Lego set that was way too much money last week. But when it comes to future decisions that are not in the now and there's more than one choice, it frees up. Oh, is that why you say you can only plan on doing one thing each day? Yes, because if there's more than one, I end up doing none. Bars. Can you have ADHD? You're never late, you're shy, you don't interrupt people during a conversation. Well, about 50% of people with ADHD also have a comorbid anxiety disorder, including me, all right? So the behaviors you would see from a person with ADHD without anxiety, you're not gonna see that from a person with ADHD and anxiety because the ADHD in our brain sits right here and the anxiety covers it. You're not gonna see impulsivity interrupting being late from us. So you're like an international super spy? Super spy! Do you have the time? 5.07. Why do you keep looking at your watch? I have an important thing at six, but since I have zero concept of time, I have to hyper-focus on time itself and can't do anything else. And if you don't hyper-focus on the time, then I'll get distracted and then I'll be late. Is that why you go to work like three hours early and just sit in the parking lot? Yep, or else I'd be late. It's all or nothing. So is time blindness the same reason why you hyper-focused on Candy Crush for 16 hours without eating or sleeping? That was 16, holy sh**. Yeah, that's exactly why. How's your summer been so far? Customized more shoes. Learned how to embroider. Beat three video games within eight hours. Been researching. Doesn't it frustrate you that you can't see the same amount of colors as a mantis shrimp? There's just colors that we'll never be able to imagine. Hey man, what you been up to this summer? Nothing, it just started. It's August. Oh, no shit. Wow, all right. Um, I made a grilled cheese. Why aren't you doing that task the regular way? It's so much easier. Because <laughs> the regular way is so boring. You add so many unnecessary steps. The only way I can do things. My brain likes doing things in a weird, ass backwards, complex way. Or else I won't do it at all. You're just stubborn. Oh yeah, no, the bees are super stubborn. The bees? It's Dave's way or the highway. I just gotta follow the dopamine. Just call it ADHD. What took you so long? Oh, I got my drink and I changed my outfit. Did you get your keys? <laughs> Right, yeah, that was the main reason I went up. Okay, hold on. Why are you still up? It's like 2 a.m. My brain likes to do this funny thing where it makes me tired all day, but then at 2 a.m. it tells me, let's conquer the world. What's your favorite movie? Um, suddenly I've never seen a single movie in my life. Uh... I found my first ever video about ADHD with 400 followers in my camera roll. This is what hyperfocus looks like. Thank you for Tamil. The mindset that you can do 
anything. You are speaking my language. We'll, we'll just dive into the subject until we burn out. That's why we can't do anything that's average because we'll just, we'll master it and then just throw it away. Lose interest and move on. But art, art, it's an endless cycle of dopamine. There's no end point. So if you have ADHD, do something creative. Create something. Like right now, my ADHD addiction is TikTok. I've made two accounts and I've posted 300 videos in the past two weeks. I can't stop and I actually believe that I can gain a following and make people laugh. Crazy. Any of that makes sense? Does ADHD impact every single aspect of your life? Yeah, I mean, pretty much, yeah. Really? So what does it feel like? You know when you feel like you forgot something? Yeah. Yeah, so it's just that feeling all the time. And then instead of remembering what you forgot, you kind of just wait and see if it impacts your life somehow. Wow. Yeah. Let me help with that thing you're doing. You can actually completely take over. I have no desire to do the thing anymore. I know you've been into art, so I got you new art supplies. Shit. I suddenly no desire to do art anymore. Hey, you should ask out Sandra's daughter. Y'all would be cute together. I liked her, but now I suddenly don't. Why aren't you doing that the way I told you? Because you said I had to do it your way. Why didn't you listen to me? Because you said I had to listen to you. You need this job, don't you? Well, not anymore. What? Well, you said the word need. My brain doesn't like the word need. Oh, that's been a green light. <laughs> In seventh grade, when I said that joke, do you think they really laughed? I don't know if they really laughed. I think it was a fake laugh. I wonder. Whoa, whoa. Shit. Was that green? Maybe. Oh. I definitely cut them off. Sorry. Shit. I just cut them off, didn't I? Oh, I just cut them off. I just cut them off. Maybe I just cut them. I think I'm such a good driver. <laughs> you know when you walk in with someone next to them and then your hand touches like that and then you're like, do you want to hold hands? Because I do. It's a train. A magic train. I want a wand. The next clip will probably be me having a wand. I got the wand. We keep on forgetting to move in the line. I keep on losing focus and I seem to only be able to focus on things I want to do. Oh, that's just the weather. I keep fidgeting and I can't sit still. Well, that's just because the video games that you play. I can't seem to regulate my emotions and sometimes I'll just laugh uncontrollably at my own joke. Oh, well, that's just because Mercury's in retrograde. No, I think I have ADHD. Can I go get diagnosed? Well, have you considered the pollen? The pollen count's been pretty high. How could that be the pollen? Does ADHD have an official symbol? No, not very official, no. Then what should we make the official symbol? I'm glad you asked, I already made one. That's a Wendy's coupon. Yeah, sorry, I, I meant this. I think this should be the official symbol. I think, I think the B with the orange and the, and the rain, this is neurodivergency with the infinity sign. This should be the official symbol. When are eyes unfocus, but then don't refocus when you zone back in? Refocus. You have body dysmorphia. Yep. But you look great. Yeah, I don't see that. Come on, can't you just look in the mirror? It doesn't work like that. Does it impact your life? Yeah, I mean, if you consider the eating disorder, the workout addiction, and wearing makeup every single day in high school, then yeah. But you're a guy, you're not supposed to wear makeup. There's no gender to makeup, but also comments like that is what causes the depression. So do you want to move on to that mental disorder? What you know about rolling down in the deep end? I have, I have depression. You're like staring into my soul. It's either all the eye contact or no eye contact. Can you stop tapping your leg? No can do, I think I'd explode. I thought you had a lot to do today. I do, it's crazy. I'm gonna go lay down. Hey man, you've been like off the grid for the past week. What's wrong? Oh, I got the tiniest bit of criticism. What is the wackiest ADHD symptom? I'd say it's probably being a perfectionist without the capability of motivating yourself to achieve said perfection. So you're constantly stuck in this state of paralyzing anxiety and self-doubt, all the while feeling worse about it every passing minute. Well, yeah, that's pretty wacky. Man, want to see a movie? What? Do you want a movie? Yeah, we can see a movie. Okay, I'll Google one. Okay. I want to buy a boat. What kind? What kind of what? Oh, movie, right. Yeah, we were looking at movies. They're having a boat sale at Bass Pro. TV bloopers, that's what I wanted to look up earlier. What? Why haven't you started your homework? Well, because I need to have a clean workspace before I can start doing my homework. Oh, well then just clean your desk. But my brain is telling me I can't do that until I'm done with my homework. That's the dilemma that I'm in, the ADHD dilemma. I'm stuck right there, so, yeah. Just eliminate all the distractions around you so you can focus. Do your work on Omegle so you have artificial accountability and external pressure because you can't depend on yourself to get things done so you need someone else depending on you. It works. 
Was ADHD hyperfocus a superpower? I mean, it can be cool sometimes, but most of the time it's just ADHD paralysis. No, not paralysis, hyperfocus. Yeah, it's the same thing. I thought paralysis was bad and hyperfocus was good. ADHD hyperfocus is just something that gives us stimuli and keeps us engaged. So yeah, it can be cool like art or researching the topic, but most of the time it's just skin picking and scrolling through our phones and we're just paralyzed doing that one thing instead of doing the things that we need to be doing. All right, class, we're gonna have a verbal multiple choice quiz. Hi, yeah, uh, mentally I can't do that, so can you write the question and the answers on the board? Why, can you not listen? Well, that's hard too, but I also have a dog shirt working memory. What does that mean? Okay, so let's just say if a neurotypical brain has like four slots of working memory, they'll remember the three possible answers and apply it to the question. But see, I got like, I got like two slots, so you're gonna say the question and then the three answers, and I'm gonna forget like option A and the question itself, so it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a mess. I haven't said a single thing this entire conversation. I'm being so awkward. How is it so easy for them to talk? And why is it so hard for me to say anything? How long have I been talking for? I feel like it's been forever. I'm being annoying. How do I stop? I should stop. I should really stop. They, they don't like me anymore. They hate me. Hello and welcome back to the game show. What's gonna keep you up tonight? Let's meet our first contestant. Hi, I'm Connor and I just wanna go to bed. He's a jokester. All right, Connor, I'm gonna name a couple topics and you have to choose which topic you'd like to overthink about all night. Can I just go to bed? All right, topic one. Rethinking about that one joke that you said in a conversation four years ago and it did not land. That was embarrassing. Ouch. All right, topic number two. Creating an entire alternate universe in your head. And last but not least, an existential crisis. Which one will you choose, Connor? I'm gonna go with none of them. Can I just go to sleep? Oh, unfortunately that was the wrong answer, but you won all three of them all at the same time. You're an ass. I know, right? You either eat nothing or you eat way too much. Yep. You either do like 30 things at the same time or you do nothing. Yep. Yeah. You either talk too much or you don't talk at all. Yes, sir. You either don't care about anything or you care way too much about everything. Pretty much, yeah. You either don't sleep or you sleep too much. Mm -hmm. You're either overstimulated or understimulated. Yes. You either have the best self-confidence or you hate yourself. Wow, I mean, yeah. And we're either gonna post this video or completely ditch the idea and restart. That's exactly right. So in the past week, you've had the energy to make this, yeah. make these, uh -huh. learn this random skill, that's correct, and draw this, yes sir, but you don't have the energy to do your homework. Yeah, what's your point? That this world was not made for your brain.